do. Um, uh, okay. You're gonna do what? A dance. We have all of our friends have a Mother's Day dance. And you're gonna do a Mother's Day dance? Yeah. Okay. Everyone. Like, who's everyone? All my friends. Oh, okay. I guess go for it. Shut the door. Do you think she's coming? No, tell us why, why you love mommy. What she does for you, that, why you love her. I love mommy because she plays with me. And I also love her that she, that she watches movies with me. And I like that she snuggles with me. And I like that she has tea parties with me. And I like that she plays family with me. And that she colors with me. Thank you, Mommy, for everything you've done for me. She always loves play movies with me. She always plays what with you? Movies with me. Movies with you? What else? She likes to hang on the tent. She likes to hang on the tent? Yeah. No, Palmer, that's, that's us. That's funny. That's Palmer. Does she give you a bath every night? Yeah. Or a shower? A um, shower. Does she make your breakfast every day? Yes. She does? Yes. Does she put up with your sass every day? Yes. Yes. There's a little bit of it right there. Yeah, a little bit of sass right there. Right all over you. Okay, hey Palmer. Tell mommy why you love her. Um, because she always loves me play um, dream house. Yeah? And she lets you do what else? What did you do last night? Um, we smoked. Good. You snuggled? With a cozy. Does she let you have sleepovers? Yes, every single day. Every single day? Yes. I think it's only on Fridays, right? Friday night, family fun night? Hey, does she make your breakfast every day? Yes, yes, yes. Do you love that? No. Does she give you a bath or a shower? Um, a shower. A shower? Does she do a bath sometimes? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Does she do a lot for you? Yes, yes, yes. Do you love her for it? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, speak up and look into the camera. Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Do you want to tell Mommy Happy Mother's Day? Happy Mother's Day. Say it loud. Happy Mother's Day. Say I love you. I love y'all. All right. Bye. Okay, happy Mother's Day. Um, I have to get this done really quick because Amber is in there giving a bath and a shower to the girls. And this is literally the only free time I've had away from her pretty much all day except for whenever I went up to the farm. But anyways, I gotta do this fast. I don't have time to explain. So here's what I'm doing. Um, the a couple weeks ago, I had an idea to do a Mother's Day video, um, and I asked for some involvement from some others, and um, it didn't work out for the most part, except for uh, with one, and I'll get to that in a little bit, but what I wanted to do was pick a couple of describing words, a couple of adjectives, adverbs, descriptors, whatever you want to call that, and um, and uh, put those with your mother or the mother of your children and um, just basically say a few things about what they mean to you 
Um, and so I'm going to start with my wife, my baby mama, my boo, the mother of my beautiful daughters. And uh, I have zero time for uh, outtakes, do-overs, redos, anything like that. So you're going to get 100% raw. And here we go right now. Uh, the first word that I chose for me that describes you, Amber, um, to a T would be intentional. And what I mean by intentional is... It's almost like you wake up every day thinking about what will make somebody else happy. Um, and I just absolutely love you for that. Uh, you take care of our girls like you're just the best mom they could ever ask for. You bathe them every night. You feed them breakfast every morning. Uh, you make sure they're at school on time. You're always making sure their hair looks good. Their co clothes are clean. The laundry. The beds are made. The rooms are cleaned up. Oh, and by the way, you have a full-time job. Um, it's just pretty impressive about uh, how much you do for not only the girls but all of us. And uh, intentional is a great way to put that. Um, uh, to elaborate even a little bit further on intentional, it's just with uh, even outside the girls, it would be for your employees at work. Um, seems like you're always uh, buying a gift or I'm giving you crap about spending money on somebody else or uh, doing, doing nice intentional gestures to make other people feel good. Uh, whether they feel comfortable, feel good, raise their self-esteem, whatever that may be, it's something that you are intentional about and it doesn't go unnoticed. The second thing would be sacrifice. And I think that that plays um, along with what I just kind of briefly touched on in that I don't think you can have one without the other. Uh, I don't think you can be as an intentional person as you are without willing to sacrifice yourself for the happiness of others. And you do that daily. <laughs> I was telling somebody just the other day laughing about it, even though it's not really funny, but um, I need to make you do these things. But you were stressing out all last week about uh, booking the massage that I bought you for last Mother's Day. You still haven't even gone and used that. Um, so maybe I need to do a better job about forcing you out of the house more often, but, uh, but the sacrifice that you give this family on a day in, day out basis is jaw dropping. Um, I don't know if anybody else sees it or notices it, but I do, and I need to do a better job of expressing that to you every single day, because um, this chaos would be, I can't even imagine what it would be without you. So, um, I love you, and I am very proud to call you my wife, and the mother of my children. So keep up the good work, babe. Now, the other person I wanted to do this for was my mother. Um, my mother, uh, I when I say I, I had this idea a couple of weeks ago, I reached out to my siblings um, to help me do something for mom, Marmy, as you guys might see her on YouTube. And I wanted to do the same thing, um, and I wanted them to participate. Unfortunately, um, a couple of them, uh, geographically and things like that, it just was kind of too last minute and it didn't work out. But uh, my sister um, was able to help out, and uh, I'll show you what she did uh, or has to say right now. Or no, I'm going to do mine first and then I'll show you hers because um, I don't want hers to be so much better than mine that uh, mine doesn't seem good. So 
let me fumble my way through this and then I'll throw on uh, my sister. So the first one that I'm going to talk about for my mom would be, let's say this one. Let's do honorable. Um, she is probably the most uh, just truthful. I don't care if it's going to be in your face. Um, you're going to hear it the way it is. And I'm always, she always seems like is going to do the right thing. Um, it always boils down. Every situation, every scenario, um, the hard stuff she's going through, it all boils down to what is the right thing. And that is an easy decision for her that most people... Uh, would struggle with like crazy. And I'm sure she does. She just does a great job of, sh of hiding it. But um, if it's not honorable, especially not honorable to God, the woman doesn't make that decision. So um, it's very inspiring and impressive to, uh, to be able to sit back kind of on the sidelines, even though most of the time I'm not on the sidelines, I'm right in the middle of it. Uh, but to sit back and watch her display honor in the way that she is. So, second thing would be prophetic. I stole this one, and I'll never forget uh, where I first used this one um, describe you heard someone describe her this way um so i stole it from my dad and my dad used it to describe her a couple of years ago when we were having a conversation on the couch usually um everybody goes to bed and it's just me and my dad left up and that's when we talk and stuff like that and uh we were talking about my mom for some reason um and that descriptive word came up and uh, it just kind of stuck with me. I mean, uh, I think it describes her to a T. I mean, she, um, I would compare her the way she tries to live her life, tries because we all fall short, um, but the way she strives, that's probably a better word, strives, it, to live her life would be like a prophet. I mean, very... Um, Almost like a disciple, like one of Jesus's, you know, disciples. So um, she has so much knowledge about uh, the Word of God. It's unbelievable to me. Um, she spends her days on Bible Gateway and researching on the internet. And she seems like you could throw a verse at her, and she would tell you what it means in Hebrew and Greek and the differences and all that kind of stuff. And that is just. Um, crazy to me that that she has that kind of passion and at the same time I want to be just like that as well um, I fall short way short but uh, it's definitely something to admire and look up to and so uh, I uh, would definitely use prophetic to describe my mother so now let me skip over to um, to Jordan, and you can hear from her. Hi, Mom. So this is our video that Josh is putting together for you for Mother's Day. Um, I was told to pick a few words, and Reese got to my papers and crumbled them. But um, so Reese and I spent some time thinking about some words that describe you. And the first one that we chose is the word ardent. Ardent. <laughs> what? I've never even heard of that word. Um, which means like loyal and enthusiastic and passionate. And we definitely think those are things that describe you. You're loyal to your beliefs. You're loyal to your family. Um, you're definitely passionate and enthusiastic about um, those things and your, as well as just any of your interests, whether that's like homesteading or designing or 
you know, whatever you get into, you go all in and you're passionate about it and excited and enthusiastic. So we chose ardent. Um, and, and another reason we chose the, the word ardent instead of like passionate or enthusiastic is because um, ardent actually is what um, the name Reese means. Are you serious? And then you're gonna relate that to your daughter? You gotta be freaking kidding me. So we are hoping that Reese is ardent and she lives up to her name and that she inherits some of her Marmy's traits. Um, and so that's why we chose the word ardent. Um, the next one that we chose is the word playful. Playful. Um, which I know is kind of silly or kind of weird to use like with an adult. Um, but just for as long as I can remember, you are, um, you're always laughing. You, you, you dearly love to laugh. Um, it's a family trait, I think. Um, and so I, I can just picture you always like watching videos or hearing something and you being the only one in the room dying laughing. And so you just have this really great sense of humor. You always have a witty banter going on with someone. Um, you love to play games, we play spades, and you love you love to cheat with me. And so I just think that you just have this playful side that um, is so fun. And so, um, yeah, so we chose the word, hey, baby, we chose the word playful. Um, and so happy Mother's Day. We love you so much. We're so thankful for you, and we can't wait for you to be in Oklahoma with us all the time. And... Reese, say hi to Marmy. Say happy Mother's Day, Marmy. Happy Mother's Day, Marmy. <laughs> All right, we love you. Bye. Okay, so uh, we all made through that. That we all made it through that without uh, without crying um, or uh, getting choked up, which is. Um, for those of you who don't know me very well, it's pretty good. I get pretty sentimental and get a little emotional and, but I guess I don't whenever I just have to talk into a camera and there's not somebody staring back at me. So anyways, that's it. Uh, wanted to wish Amber, I want to wish you a happy mother's day. Mom, I want to wish you a happy mother's day to all the knave women, all the nay, all the women in my family. I want to wish you a happy mother's day. And to all mothers out there who are watching this and who don't, I want to wish you a happy Mother's Day. God bless you, and let the Lord shine on you. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. Good job. Ha happy Mother's Day, Mommy. I love you. I love you. I love you. We see you next time on Mommy.